What's up? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be telling you my top 22 best Mac apps for 2023. Happy New Year to all and let's get into it. First up, we got Alpha. As a writer, my biggest enemy is writer's block and Alpha always rescues me. It's the most versatile app because you can use it across other apps like Mail, Excel, Word, and Notes. Therefore, you may get help researching, writing emails, cover letters, project drafts, blogging, producing social media posts, and much more. I have used many AI tools, but this one is perfect. Besides writing and rewriting, it also does proofread and polishes the writing quality so you can write more efficiently and expedite the editing process and make your content more engaging. The tool has different modes like Smart Write, Zenser, Continue Writing, and many others. The monthly subscription for Alpha starts at an affordable $4.99 a month, but they do have a seven day free trial. So set up your open AI account and get Alphas to boost your productivity, whether you're a content writer, marketer, businessman, or technical professional. Coming down number two, we got Walter Pro. Me, my favorite solution for converting and transferring videos, music, ringtone, and other media types for my Mac to other iOS devices. Their interface is beautifully designed and allows you to drag and drop media files for conversion into iOS friendly format that are automatically transferred to the appropriate app on your connected iPhone or iPad. I love how the app gives you complete control while being easy to use. For instance, you can manually edit the cover artwork and metadata on your media. There is no restriction on the type of file it handles so you can send almost anything to your iOS device from Kindle books to comics to Microsoft Docs document, VLC videos, and much more. It offers many useful features such as support for audiobooks, high resolution audio, 4K video, video content, and smart encoding detection, along with four subtitles and light and dark theme. This is my go-to solution for quick, effortless, and reliable file transfer from Mac to iOS devices. The price for this starts at $29.99 for a year, but you can buy the lifetime pass for $59.95. Coming in at number three, we got Set App. Whether you're a content creator, entrepreneur, artist, CEO, office professional, or student, Set App can be a great asset for you. Set App by MacPaw is a subscription-based service at $9.99 a month for Mac and iOS applications that includes curated apps designed to enhance your workflow, productivity, entertainment, web development, and much more. Consider it a productivity toolkit that allows you access and explore a wide variety of helpful apps all at one base price. So investing in this makes a lot of sense if you're looking for an app that can do it all. You might not find one, but Set App is the next best alternative. You get one or more apps that'll do it all. You don't have to pay a subscription for individual apps that you need. Instead, you pay a one-time fee to access 230 plus apps. Coming down number four, we got Clean My Mac X. When I bought my new MacBook, Clean My Mac X was the first third-party app I installed. I'm sure we all seen about this on YouTube ads. It's one of the best all-in-one solutions to manage your system storage. Although Apple does a pretty good job of keeping your Mac this clean and smooth functioning, things get a little messy when you don't keep tabs on your file organization. So Clean My Mac X makes it easy to get rid of clutter like unwanted files and apps you've forgotten about. It also monitors performance and helps remove malware safely. Therefore, it's an invaluable in sorting out the most common kinds of problems on your system. I love the beautiful interface that's straightforward to use and gets the job done quickly. The free version works as well, but it has limits such as the size of data you can clean, but you can pay $34.99 a year for the full access or $89.99 as a one-time purchase. It's no fuss tool to optimize your Mac, keep it up to speed and clutter free. Coming out number five, we got Alfred. This nifty little utility supercharges spotlight search on your Mac. It lets you create custom shortcuts to programs and files and automated workflows that speed you up. So it makes it much faster and convenient to do things like calculations, web searches, find word definitions, and much more. Alfred supports shortcuts and makes it a breeze to control music, spell checking, and a sense, pop up phone numbers, or text on your screen and more. This saves time and makes this one of the best Mac apps for productivity. This is free, but if you pay just $25, you'll have access to the extra features. It's a handy utility that combines functions of Spotlight and Siri to customize and streamline your workflow. Coming in at number six, we got Google Chrome. Although Safari is a great browser, it has limitations and features customization and non-availability on other platforms like Windows and Android. So I think Google Chrome is one of the best browsers for your Mac, especially if you use other non-Apple devices and want to sync your browsing data across them all. It offers lots of extensions that can help you customize and get more out of your browsing experience. Let us 
know if you want to see us do Google Chrome versus Safari to test them on parameters, including performance and privacy down in the comments below. But this is the fastest and most feature rich browser that syncs across devices and platforms. Coming in at number seven, we got LastPass. We all need to remember a ton of passwords and I'll be the first to admit that I'm not very good at it. Fortunately, LastPass is a lifesaver that securely stores your passwords and login credentials for multiple websites across devices. It automatically fills in your payments and shipping details when you're shopping online. It enables you to generate a strong password and multi-factor authentication as a second layer of protection. Your data is stored in an encrypted vault using bank level AES 256-bit encryption. You can go for the premium version for $35.99 to get extra features like unlimited devices, one gigabyte of encrypted file storage, and unlimited sharing of passwords and notes. It's a must-have for generating strong passwords and storing them securely across devices. Coming in at number eight, we got Bartender. When someone asks me what are the must-have apps for Mac, I definitely name Bartender as number one. It lets you select which apps appear in the top menu bar and rearrange their position as you like it. It appeals to every organization junkie. You can also search for specific things or move them into the optional bartender bar that offers additional space. You can configure personalized keyboard shortcuts for accessing apps instantly. It's a small tool but packs a punch by customizing an often overlooked aspect of Mac OS. Say goodbye to a cluttered menu bar and let bartender serve you up whatever you want whenever you need it. You could try it for free one month before purchasing it just for $15. It's an app that gives you control of the menu bar on Mac OS for a customized interface and streamlined workflow. Coming at number nine, we got Notion. Notion is one supercharged productivity app that combines so many functionalities into one. It's my favorite Mac app for task management because it works as everything I need, including a calendar, social media calendar, notebook, planner, database, and much more. It rightly proclaims itself as an all-in-one workspace so you can customize according to your preferences. This flexibility sets it apart from other productivity apps and makes it suitable for just about anyone working on any project. It's one of the best Mac apps for students, entrepreneurs, professionals, and more. No matter what your workflow looks like, Notion can help you streamline and manage it. I do have to admit that it takes a bit of a learning curve to master how to use it. This is primarily because of the abundance of features that can be overwhelming for a newbie. Notion is free, but if you want the personal pro version, it's $4 a month. It's a powerful all-in-one task management and organization app, ideal for both individuals and organizations. Coming in at number 10, we got Microsoft OneNote. I love Apple's Notes app, but the one limitation is that it's not available on other platforms like Windows and Android. So I've got to hand it to Microsoft OneNote for being the best and most comprehensive note-taking app for Mac. It's a one-stop solution that makes it a breeze to write memos, make a digital sketchbook, or jot down your thoughts. You can also add photos and audio to your notes and organize everything using tabs, labels, and color coding. I love the variety of digital pen colors and settings that makes it easier to create handwritten sketches and notes. You can even draw accurately thanks to the smart features like convert to shape, automatically converts hand-drawn shapes into crisp, perfect, regular polygons and circles. You can quickly share notes with others and collaborate in real time using a shared notepad. As for privacy, you can secure your notes with a password and control permissions when sharing with others. Everything syncs neatly to the cloud and is available anytime on any device, which is super convenient. It's a comprehensive note-taking app that keeps you organized for both individual and collaborative projects. Coming down to number 11, we got Copy Clip. This is a neat little utility that makes a world of a difference to your everyday workflow on your Mac. If you're often copying and pasting a lot of content, it can be frustrating to track what's on your clipboard and you can often accidentally overwrite things you copied and forgotten to paste. Well, Copy Clip beautifully solves that problem by keeping track of everything you copy so that you can access it anytime you want with a click of a button. It sits on top of the Mac menu bar and you can click it to see a record of all recently copied items and pick one to paste. The best part is that it doesn't hog on memory, it keeps it low profile, and it's super easy to use. You can customize how many items you want to keep in the clipboard history. It's one of the best Mac apps for developers and writers who work with moving around a lot of text or code. It's a handy indispensable tool for effortless clipboard management on a Mac. Coming in at number 12, we got Hazel. No, I'm not talking about the color of your eyes. I'm talking about this new cool Mac app. It automatically organizes your files according to the rules you define and can quickly move and sort items according to name, type, date, and more. This helps you create workflows to process files the way you want. It's incredibly handy to sort out a particular file type, apply names and tags automatically, or other rule sets to every file, folder, and download on your Mac. For instance, you could set it up to move all your downloaded bank statements to a finance folder or sort all photos date-wise into folders, delete files from the chart when specified criteria are met. It also helps sync data to Dropbox, Network Share, or iCloud Drive and notifies you each time it completes a task. The only downside is that it takes a bit of a time to set up all the rules and get the hang 
of the app, but once you figure it out, it's quite a lifesaver. It's an innovative file manager app for Mac that lets you automate how many files and folders are organized according to custom rules for just $42. Coming in at number 13, we got Zoom. Zoom escalated in popularity in 2020 after the pandemic hit and people worldwide were forced to work from home. It's the best video conference app for professional, academic, and personal use. It allows up to 100 participants to meet in HD video and audio calls on any device. There's screen sharing and built-in chat for ultimate collaboration. You can even choose to record your meetings locally or on the cloud, making it ideal for globally distributed teams. Virtual backgrounds, filters, reactions, polls, hand raising, and music or video sharing help make the meeting more fun and engaging. The basic free version allows unlimited one-on-one -on -one meetings and group meetings up to 40 minutes long at a time. It's an easy to use video chat app for remote work, school, and personal use. Next up, we got PDF Expert. No matter what your line of work is, chances are you deal with PDF documents pretty often. Here's an app that makes the process a lot easier and hassle free. It's minimalist yet feature packed to help you fill up and sign PDF forms, merge PDF documents, edit and annotate as you like. The interface makes things super easy for anyone and it works like a charm with smooth scrolling and fast search. Your files open up instantly regardless of size and remote helps you get through content faster. The best part is that it's compatible with Apple's continuity and handoff features. So you can seamlessly pick up your workflow from where you left off on any device. It's a helpful app for anyone who regularly works with PDF documents for just seven $79.99. Coming in at number 15, we got Pocket. If you're anything like me, you probably come across articles or videos that you want to check out later, and it's challenging to track all these things systematically. Pocket is one of my favorite apps to save stuff to read or watch offline. You can add items to an infinite queue that you can get to when you have the time. The best part is that everything you save is presented in a minimalist distraction-free view that makes it quicker to get through. It offers browser extensions for Safari, Chrome, or Firefox, and you can view your saved items across any of your devices. It's a pretty neat an easy to use web clipper that conveniently saves photos, videos, and articles for later viewing. Coming at number 16, we got Spark. This has to be one of the best free Mac apps because almost everyone today knows what a burden it can be to handle emails. Spark is a simple, smart, and thoughtful app that lightens the load and lets you truly take control of your inbox. Although the default mail app on Mac has its merits, Spark goes a step beyond to automatically show you what's most meaningful for you and cut out the rest of the noise. It only notifies you of mail from your contacts so that you're no longer drowning in a sea of spam and subscriptions that you don't have the time to deal with. It also boasts impressive collaboration tools such as real-time editors to compose professional emails, private discussions about specific threads, and a built-in calendar. It can be integrated with services like Dropbox, iCloud Drive, and more to streamline your workflow. I'm most impressed by the powerful natural language search that makes it easy to find whatever message you're looking for quickly. It's an innovative email app that gives a highly personalized experience to individuals and teams. Coming at number 17, we got Fantastical. It's an efficient calendar app that lets me set events and reminders using natural language. For instance, I can just type lunch with Nelly on Friday at 1 p.m. or remind me to buy milk on Monday and the calendar will smartly schedule it in. At the same time, it offers a host of other neat features such as weather forecasts, moon phases, time zone adjustments, and more. It's fully compatible with iCloud reminders and syncs effortlessly with your iPhone, iPad, and Apple Watch. The interface is beautiful and easy to use. The free version is quite limited. It enables you to to add and delete events, get three-day forecast, and a few other features. So the premium subscription is your best bet to make the most of this top Mac app. The subscription is $4.99 a month. It's a feature pack calendar and planner app that recognizes natural language inputs to schedule your events and reminders. Coming in at number 18, we got Amphetamine. Have you ever left a big file to download only to come back hours later and see that it's paused because your Mac went to sleep or when you're watching something you're interrupted by your screensaver because you haven't touched the keyboard in a while? Well, Amphetamine is an app that lets you keep your Mac awake even when the lid is closed for a specific number of hours, minutes, or indefinitely on a schedule you define. It has an easy to configure UI and is conveniently accessible from the menu bar. It also supports shortcuts for ease of access. There are no annoying ads, which is great, but it does not work with macOS versions older than Yamaset. It's one of the best Mac apps on Big Sur, Ventura, Catalina, because it supports dark mode. It's a handy tool to temporarily override your Mac's sleep schedule, ideal when watching movies, downloading big files, or hooking up your system to external monitors. Coming in at number 19, 
got VLC media players. Although I often watch movies and shows on Netflix and other streaming services, I'll also enjoy obscure content that friends find and share. This is often an MKV format or other file types that QuickTime Player does not support. VLC Player is a must have for a first free experience opening such audio and video files. It's an open source cross platform multimedia player that supports a wide range of formats. It can be used to view 360 degree videos up to 8K resolution. It's free yet does not contain ad spyware or user tracking is definitely a win for me. It's a resource for a media player that can handle almost any audio and video format. Coming at number 20, we got Spotify. No matter what I'm doing on my Mac, I love to have some music or a podcast playing in the background. Although I have Apple Music, it doesn't offer much in a way of free content. So Spotify is my go-to streaming app because it boasts the broadest ranges of audio content from around the world. My favorite feature is the adjustable playback speed that lets me get through podcast episodes faster. By the way, I definitely recommend you guys check us out. By tech, look us up wherever you guys listen to your podcast at. We post Monday and Fridays. We just give tech news so be sure to check us out like i said we post mondays and fridays and that's fly tech for your latest tech news it's a breeze to create playlists share with friends check out what others are listening to and discover new music every week although there are ads in the free version i don't mind them but you can upgrade to a premium subscription to get rid of them and enjoy other features like downloads for offline listening this subscription is 9.99 a month it's the go-to app for free music and podcasts across your mac iphone and other devices coming at number 21 we got magnet here's something for all you fellow multitaskers magnet is one of the best paid mac apps that gives you the handy window snapping and desktop organization features natively found on windows system you can push your open windows flush against the edges of your screen and into pre-configured layout you can save these for your apps to always keep your desktop looking the way you like it also supports keyboard functions for speedy multitasking i love the variety of possibilities it offers no more hassle of dragging around your open apps into the perfect layout on your screen it's a must-have for anyone who works with multiple apps open on a single Mac desktop screen just for $7.99. And last but not least, coming at number 22, we got Reader 5. This is my favorite RSS reader app that looks great and functions even better. It supports most services such as Feedly, Fibbin, Fever, and it has useful features like private browsing mode, just a controls themes, and many customization options. Sync all of your feed and articles with iCloud to read across your devices. It has a minimalist yet attractive design and presentation of articles with customizable yet straightforward settings. This makes it incredibly user-friendly and destruction-free place to catch up on your reading. You can even add links from outside of Reader using the sharing extension. It's a comprehensive RSS reader for your Mac that supports most services and syncs across your devices for just $9.99. So there you have it. That's my list of the best Mac apps to get in 2023 right now for your day-to-day -day use on your Mac. Let me know which ones were your favorite. Let me know if I missed any. Let us know down in the comments below. And be sure to follow us on all social media platforms at Max and Fix. And be sure to check out our podcast, Fly Tech, wherever you stream your podcast at. Like I said, we post Mondays and Fridays. Tune in to get your most up-to-date tech news. Until next time, y'all be safe. Take care. Peace.